So if you're getting this type of error in Unreal Engine 5 when you're rendering, basically what is happening is your GPU memory is kind of full and it doesn't have enough VRAM to render your scene. If you're creating some kind of very big scene in a very uh, low-end or mid-range graphic card, something like a 8GB graphic card or 6GB graphic card, then it will be very hard for your GPU to render. So that's the reason why you are getting that type of error. And I'm not gonna tell you a single button that will help you to fix that issue because there is not a single button that will fix this issue. And this is actually a completely hardware limitation error. So I will give you some points or some tips that will help you to get rid of this error. So so I will share you three tips that you can use. So the tip number one and this is the most important tip of this tutorial and that is do not open your level. So when you open your project you will notice one thing that you will be redirected to your project level. So what you have to do is you have to just go and you have to create a empty level. So you have to just right click and add an empty level. Then you have to go to your edit project settings and then you have to search for map. You will get this option and in this one you will see a editor startup map so by default it will be set to your main level that you're working and what you have to do you have to select your empty level so i will search for empty so this is the level and then you don't have to do anything you have to just close unreal engine and you have to save so now when you open your project again your map is not loaded and you will see nothing because it is loading your empty level you can see there also so you can see there this is empty level and the advantage of this thing is if you go to your task manager then you will notice one thing if you go to your gpu section the total memory usage of your graphic card will be lesser because you are not loading anything so if you are loading a city sample project from unreal engine 5 marketplace then it's gonna take all the memory there like i'm having a 8 gb graphic card and it will take up to 7.5 gb of vram when you load your uh, city sample a level so that's the advantage of having a empty level so basically what we are doing is we are reducing the memory usage when we open our unreal engine so when you do this now you have to do your rendering and now you will tell me how we can render if we are not in the level so actually you can render without entering in your levels so i will show you so basically what you have to do, you have to go to your window section and in this one you will get a cinematic option and then you have to go to your movie render queue. In this one you will get your movie render queue. You have to just add your movie render queue and you have to make sure that you are selecting your level sequencer. So whatever level sequencer you want to render, you have to select that. So in my case I'm selecting my animation one and you have to make sure that in the map you are not selecting your empty level you have to select your main level where your level sequencer is present so in my case it was in the main level it will be better if you rename your level so it will be easier for you to find that level so in my case it is this one so you have to select that one so basically what we are doing now is we are selecting our level, our sequencer in movie render queue without opening our main level. By doing this, we are saving our memory usage and if I try to open the main level and then if I try to render it would be around 7.6, 7.5 GB. So we are saving around 2 to 3 GB of VRAM just by doing this. After this, what you have to do, you have to just click on render and your scene will be rendered most of the time 99 percent of the time the scene that is not rendering before it will be rendered and you will not get that type of error so the tip number two is optimize your textures and your models we all know that unreal engine has nanite and human and virtual textures and all kind of fancy stuff but still it doesn't mean that you can just bypass your optimization stage and you can just throw billions and trillions of triangles of mesh and 8k resolution texture it doesn't work like that okay you have to still optimize your mesh so that it can run properly it can render so the first thing you have to do is you have to reduce your texture size so you can watch this tutorial i will put the tutorial link in the description and for models what you can do you can just use a decimate modifier that is in the modeling tool of unreal engine 5 you can just search for modeling how to decimate uh models so these are the main two things for tip number two so the tip number three is you have to do some lower resolution renders because it can be so heavy for your pc if you are using any kind of game override you can just turn off the cinematic options you can set your render to your high quality and then you can render because if you check this box it means your render will be automatically switched to cinematic quality and it will be rendered on cinematic stuff and that is very very heavy for your 8 gb or 6 gb graphic cards and make sure that you uh, deselect this flush grass streaming option also so if you are having a very large scene and so many grasses and foliages in your scene 
then it will definitely gonna crash your gpu and your unreal engine also so you have to make sure that you turn off this thing and this will make sure that you are not rendering all the grasses at the same time so your gpu will have some time to calculate everything step by step and it will be easier for your gpu to render and if you are disabling this thing you have to make sure that you go to your anti analyzing and you have to increase your warm up to 512 so that it can properly uh, render all the grasses and all the foliages in your scene or else you will get that type of popping issue when you will do your render so make sure that you use 512 when you are disabling this thing if this is enabled then you can leave this thing to 32 and it will work and if you're using any kind of console variables you have to make sure that you're not using screen percentage to 200 or something like that because the meaning of this is your resolution will be double if you're rendering at 1080p uh, it will be 2x means it will be 2k or uh, 4k re uh, render and that would be very very demanding for your gpu so make sure that you use 120 or 100 or maybe you can go lower also suppose 80 or 75 and yeah that's the all major tips that will help you to get your render from Unreal Engine. I think this will help you and yeah that's it for this tutorial. Thank you for watching.